Luke Farrell 18 times out of the pen once as a starter all adds up to three and three. Yay. And in the center and the Diamondbacks are on the board. And here comes Joe wow. along with I'll get out of the way of that one. I believe Nick Frangella. Yeah. Well, very fortunate. I'll tell you, uh, Diamondbacks have hit the ball really yep. hard here yep. in the first inning. Yep. Went it up three times, three absolute rockets. More later. Lamb in the air. Peralta tags. Here he comes. And it's two zip. Former Seattle Mariner. And that will allow. Pollock to advance. That is going to get in, and it's going to be three to nothing. So we'll go to second base. Diamondbacks, and a big crooked number here in the opening inning. And he drills one into the corner. Diamondbacks are going to get a couple more. A two run double. A light hitting Jeff Mathis. It's five to nothing. It's a lefty Patrick Corbin. He's 29, 6 3, 210. Swing and a miss. Stood back and forth through this whole process. So certainly he probably doesn't know he's throwing a no hitter through five innings, right? But certainly happy to see him out there tonight. All right, Kelly, thank you. As Paul Goldschmidt. Just hit another homer against the Cubs and it's six to nothing. We had the numbers for you earlier. That is his 14th career homer in 38 games against the Chicago Cubs. I'm trying to think of the last Cub who got the same type of treatment as Baez as he has the Cubs first hit. A big turnaround first. He'll hold with a single. Double play chance. Marte Descalzo Birchman. Equals a win, so he's been worth about three wins added. So, like a home run and a one. They rattled off a, into a really good stretch. Here's another swing and miss on a breaking ball. Left hander Brian Dunsing facing Paul Goldschmidt. Jay not running. And a chopper to the shortstop Russell, a little underhand to Baez. Who is managing the Rio Grande Valley White Wings as he strikes out? Base hit to right. Good read by Rizzo, and he'll be able to advance to third. A more track for two, and he's out. Ooh. Took a big risk down six. And he's thrown out by John Jay. Following season. Baez strikes out. I think that's just an offensive move. Oh, Dunsing just robbed him. Still six zip. Pitch. The guys have such a hard time laying off. Strike three called by Mark Carlson. Punched out in the left center. Elmore was not playing deep. Little leap and a catch, and he'll keep running on into the dugout. Club to left. And over the head of Peralta. Half into second base with a double. First extra base hit for the Cubs. And a base hit. Hap had to make sure the liner got through, so he'll be held at third, and they've got him at the corners with nobody out. Backhanded play to Scott. And now get him out at second. A run scores. But a nice play by Descalzo after he bobbled. He just kind of shoved that ball over to Marte at second to get one out. Bullpen has had their issues. Knocked down by Corbin. Not sure where it got him, but 
He looks like he's all right, and the Cubs have to settle for one. Well, the young lefty is 4-0 with a 2-1-5 ERA. Got him looking. Yeah, yeah. that's what most people would say. Yeah. I'm going to go on. And as Contreras strikes out. Ooh, boy. <laughs> You never see that from Zoe. Cautious how they use that. Toward the hole and through. Would have been a really tough play for Russell. Even if he had backhanded it. And it's 7 to 1. Well, we now have a scouting report on Victor Caratini. Three outs to go. 12 run lead. Way up in the air. So Caratini throws one pitch. And gets John Jay. 7 to 1 in the eighth. There's a base hit to center. But be really mindful of the potential for something to come screaming back at you. Baez, Russell, the Rizzo. Caratini will put on the first base we saw. And here we go. <laughs> He finally gets his wish. We've been lobbying hard for this. We saw him in the clubhouse yesterday. So I'm the best guy. I'm the best pitcher among the position players. He was a good high school pitcher. You know, I remember reading a scouting report on him from his high school days, you know, flipping back through a couple of years ago. And he was throw 90. You know, that's not going to be his plan here tonight. Fly ball to center. Rizzo's ERA zero. He got his wish. Seven to one. Matt Cook. Unsaved spot. Might get down. Nope. Caught by John Jay, and that'll do it. Diamondbacks take the opener. Seven one the final. Cubs had to use a sixth starter tonight and as you mentioned by the time Luke Farrell got it together it was already six to nothing. Yeah and with Corbin being as good as he was tonight the, the game was pretty much over in, in the first inning. It's unfortunate because you know later on in his outing he's started to develop uh, talking about Luke got the feel for his breaking ball and had he had it early would have been able to pitch a more competitive game but he did not Corbin was spot on right from the start.